Hello. Welcome back. Um, first things first, soldering safety, everybody. Do not drink and solder. It's very important. If you have been drinking, then what you need is a specially trained seven-year-old to finish your household soldering jobs for you. Excellent. That's looking really good. Thank you, Tom. That's sorted. If you just want to clean the tip off for me, I'll switch the uh, station off there. Pop, pop that away. Good lad. Well done. So uh, tonight on the kitchen table, um, we're going to show you uh, how we got on with soldering the F450. Let me just remove this. Tom's just been fixing. This was uh, an inside of one of our DVRs that's gone wrong. Tom's just done an excellent job in fixing that, haven't you, Tom? Yeah. So um, here's what we got up to the other day. I've just put the, I don't know why I put the legs on. It's, uh, they're going to have to come off again while I'm working on the rest of it. But we have actually soldered the... Um, the speed controllers onto the bottom plate. Um, I haven't put the power wires on here, as you can see, um, for two reasons. One, uh, I need to make up a connector. Uh, and two, we just want to double check because I think we probably have to solder in the NASA's PMU, power management unit. So we just want to check that. But you can see um, the solder joints look pretty good. Obviously, uh, liquid electrical tape can hide a multitude of sins. Um, um, but that will prevent any any shorts. So we'll probably just have a look at what we did. So the first stage was, it was okay, it went okay actually. It's not the best job and please don't criticize the soldering technique. It's the first time we've done it, we will get better. But the first thing we had to do was lay down a pillow of solder on each of the pads ready to accept the wires. Um, and that was that was pretty straightforward. Uh, use a lot more solder than, than you think you need. Um, I did have to do a couple of them again because they needed a bit more. Uh, once we'd done that, it was just a question of tinning the uh, leads for the speed controllers and then heating everything uh, thoroughly through and putting them in place. Like I say, it's not going to be the neatest job, but um, the joints should be strong. I have double checked them all for for strength and um and they appear to be pretty good actually time will tell of course um and then what we did was um i, I had a tip to use liquid electrical tape um not for securing them particularly but for preventing shorts because obviously these open solder joints can can cause uh, potentially some issues if you get bits and pieces in there touching them through so there we go we've done the soldering um i've put the legs on here just to sort of give you an idea of how it'll look when we're done so we've got room inside for the flight controller the nasa the pmu and other bits and pieces can fit on this side and then the top plate obviously will make it all a rigid structure and that's just an idea of scale tom if you scrub hold of that arm there there you go there's a bit of a scale for you on the size of the thing um and yeah um our soldering station seemed to work pretty well. Um, the solder that we were using was pretty reasonable. Um, what I'll do is in my blog, which we'll link to down here, I'll give you details of which soldering station we got, what solder we're using, any other sort of little tips and tricks that we found would make things easier for, for you if you're doing it yourself. But, but no, so far that was the bit that I wasn't looking forward to and so far it's gone reasonably well. So the next stage is to um, is to whip out the uh, the NASA flight controller and have a good old read up and and think you know where we're going to locate that and also to um, solder on the power and any anything else we need to think about adding to the, those those uh, solder points there. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, that was the dodgy bit out of the way. I I didn't particularly enjoy it. Tom though, as you saw, was a bit of a natural, so he's now going to. Um, going to fix anything electronic that goes wrong in the house isn't that right Tom yeah. yeah yeah but he is only seven so he's only ever going to do it under my supervision um and, and only only if I've had less than a glass of wine so we are we're going to take it very seriously so anyway thank you for watching next video in the build will as I said be thinking about where we're going to place um the components that come with the NASA and um we need to start thinking about some extra things now. We need to start thinking about radio gear. We need to start thinking about battery. So, yeah, coming along nicely. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time on the kitchen table. Goodbye.